Hey everyone, it's Luke here, and in this series we're going to upgrade a project to Quasar version 2. Very exciting. The upgrade isn't as bad as you may think, and this series is quite thorough, so much of what we'll be covering won't even affect you. So, having said that, I recommend following this entire guide just in case there are some, some corners of your application that might break unexpectedly. Now this upgrade actually takes us to view version 3, so this is a super exciting upgrade because we'll get to take advantage of some of those features. And by the way, there's surprisingly few breaking changes between view version 2 and view version 3, so don't freak out, this might actually end up being a bit of fun and you'll learn some cool stuff along the way. So the app that we're going to pull in is called To Don't, and this is an app that has as many breaking changes with Quasar version 2 as possible. Okay, so the reason there are lots of breaking changes in this app is because I want to come across all of those breaking changes as I upgrade so that you can see what it's like to fix every single one of those breaking changes. So it's going to look like a kind of a weird app, but that's why. Okay, so let's come up here, click on the copy button, open up our editor, and now we can say git clone and then paste that in there. That's done, so let's come up here and copy this, and then we'll say cd into that directory. And we'll run yarn so that all of those dependencies are installed. And the next thing I'm going to do when that's done is actually make a copy of this application because I like to have a copy of the original on my computer so it's really easy to reference back to it. I just find that's a little bit easier than handling branches when you're doing an upgrade. Okay, so let's CD out of here and then we'll say copy. And we want to do that recursively. And let's copy that. And then how about we call it the same thing dash original. That's probably a good name. And there we go. So now let's cd back into that directory, open it in Visual Studio Code, and let me show you what this app actually looks like. So I might zoom in a bit here so it looks nicer for you. And then we can just run Quasar Dev, and since we've already installed our dependencies, this should work. And it does! Fantastic! So let me give you a little bit of a tour. If we go to the home page here, we get this little, uh, this little loading sign. That's just using a timer in the background, and that's because that there's a couple of uh, breaking changes in relation to the loader. Uh, next, we've got a few buttons here. We can get started, get started horizontally, or view about this app, and that gives us this really weird modal, but there's a reason behind all of this weird stuff. So now if we go to get started, we've actually got our to do application, or to don't application, and now we can create to don'ts. So for example, say, bad things about myself. There we go, to don't say bad things about myself. And then we can click on there to edit this, or others. And there we go, that updates. The other thing we can do then is of course delete to don'ts, and we can click on this button up here to view our to don'ts in a table. And we don't have any here, so what I've done is made it so that when you press Control and then M, it basically fills in a whole bunch of dummy to don'ts, and then when I click on here, now we can paginate through them all. Once again, all of these weird little quirks of the application are here for a reason, so that there's breaking changes. We can come down here and notice that we've got this little, um, this little banner with an advertisement. We can cross out of that. If I come down here, I've actually got a little weird chatbot thing I created. So we can say create to don't. Now I can say, say bad things about people. Send that through. And there we go, the chatbot has gone ahead and created that. So if I scroll down here, there it is. That's my to don't. And now I can add another one, or I can delete them as well. So let's say, uh, come down here, delete to don't. And how about we just delete to don't number one. And there we go, if I scroll to the top, we can see that, oh, it's still there. So I've done something wrong. Maybe there's a weird glitch in the application. So let's just copy this. That's all right, this is just a demo app. And then say, delete to don't, and paste that in. Let's see if that works. And there we go, it does work. So it must have been a weird thing with the number there. All right, we got a home button here. And we've also got this horizontal section, get started horizontally. And that basically just shows our to don'ts in a horizontal view. And that's because there's some breaking changes in relation to scrolling. So I just wanted to do something that would hit those breaking changes. And we can click on last here, and that takes us to the end of that scroll bar area. Last but not least, we've got uh, languages. And I can come in here and change the language. So let's change it to uh, a different language. We can come down here. Spanish and French, and it just shows you uh, the mappings for those different languages because there's some breaking changes there. And if I come up here, we can change it from English US, see how it says hello in the top right corner, 
to English Australian and how it says g'day mate. So that's using language features behind the scenes. And we can also change the theme of the website. So there we go, that's the to don't application. It's a little bit weird, but it's specifically designed to hit as many breaking changes as possible. And now in the next video, we're going to start trying to update this application. Oh cool, look at this. Next month is Avril, so that must be, that must be April in French. Oh cool, I didn't even realize that. So if I come back here, now I can look at April in all these different languages. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, so I'll see you in the next video where we'll start diving into this stuff.